Egyptian Mao versus Asa Cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Mao's most striking characteristic is his spotted coat in silver, bronze, or smoke, closely followed by his large gooseberry green eyes. He is a medium-sized cat with a muscular body and a slightly rounded wedge-shaped head topped with medium-sized to large ears. With hind legs slightly longer than the front legs, he gives the appearance of standing on tiptoe on his small, dainty feet. A medium-long tail is thick at the base, tapering slightly at the end. The medium-length coat has a silky, fine texture in the smoke coloration and a dense, resilient texture in the silver and bronze colors. The body is covered randomly with distinct spots that can be small or large, and round, oblong, or other shapes. The forehead bears an M shape, the cheeks are adorned with mascara lines, and the tail is banded, ending with a dark tip. On the pale belly are dark spots that resemble vest buttons. In addition to the silver, bronze, and smoke colors, mouse can come in solid black, blue silver, blue spotted, blue smoke, and solid blue but these colors are not permitted in the show ring. These cats of a different color make fine pets, however, sharing all the other characteristics of the Mao. Asakat stands out for his spotted coat, which gives him the look of a small wildcat. The short, smooth, satiny coat comes in 12 colors, all of which feature dark thumbprint-shaped spots on a light background. Like the Abyssinian, which was one of his ancestors, the Asakat has what's called an agouti coat, meaning that each hair has several bands of color, the exception is the tip of the tail. The spots are formed where those bands of color meet. Rows of round spots run along the spine, and more spots are scattered across the shoulders and rear end, extending down the legs. Broken bracelets of spots encircle the legs and broken necklaces adorn the throat. Large, well-scattered spots appear on the side of the body and on the belly. The tail has what looks like horizontal brush strokes going round it, sometimes alternating with spots. Markings around the eyes and on the cheeks make the Asakat look as if he has been at work with a mascara tube. The forehead is marked with an M and small spots cover the lower neck and shoulders. Some Oshi cats have classic, mackerel and tick tabby coats, which are beautiful but aren't correct for the show ring. Those cats have the same great Osakat personality, however, and make wonderful pets. The Osakat has a medium size to large body. He is muscular yet graceful. Large ears corner the modified wedge-shaped head. Some Oshi cats have tufts of fur that extend vertically from the tips of the ears. Large almond-shaped eyes angle slightly upward and can be any color except blue. The lengthy tail has a dark tip. When the Egyptian Mao is happy, you know it. He vocalizes, called chortling, in a quiet, pleasant voice, swishes his tail rapidly, and kneads with his front paws. What makes him happy is being with his family, to whom he is fiercely devoted, or showing off his hunting prowess by chasing and retrieving a toss toy or stalking and pouncing on a wriggling lure at the end of a fishing pole toy. This is a moderately to highly active cat. He likes to jump and climb and will appreciate a tall cat tree, a window perch or two, and a sturdy scratching post that allows him to stretch out to full height. The Mao also enjoys playing in the water. Don't be surprised to find him dipping a paw into your koi pond or aquarium, turning on the tap in the bathroom or kitchen, or splashing water out of your pool, or his water dish. Egyptian Mao prefers family members to anyone else. When he's not playing fetch, he enjoys sitting in a lap and being worshipped, just as his ancestors may have been. The Mao has the distinction of being the fastest domestic housecat, as she can run at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. The devoted and playful Asakat loves people and will trail their footsteps through the house or ride on a shoulder. Guests are welcomed by this generally social cat as new opportunities for petting or lap sitting. Oshi cats don't even mind being carried around as long as they are with you. As with any animal, they come in a range of personalities, so some are shyer than others. Favorite activities include retrieving toys and learning to walk on a leash. Oshi cats are highly intelligent and learn tricks easily. Puzzle toys are a good way to keep them occupied and entertained. Carefully put away anything you don't want him to have. He is perfectly capable of figuring out how to open doors or undo latches. His Siamese ancestors bequeathed the Asakat a tendency to be vocal, but he is not as loud or as demanding. He is sensitive and will respond to nothing more than a verbal correction. Although the Asakat is adaptable, he doesn't like being left alone. Be sure he has another cat or dog as a companion if you aren't home during the day. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Both pedigreed cats and mixed breed cats have varying incidences of health problems that may be genetic in nature. Egyptian mouse are generally healthy but be sure to ask a breeder about the incidence of health problems in her lines and what testing has been done for any that are genetic in nature. 
Oshi cats are generally healthy, but they have the potential to develop certain health problems. Progressive retinal atrophy, which leads to blindness, has been seen in a few cats in the breed, but it is not thought to be a major problem. Some Oshi cats have also been diagnosed with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the most common form of heart disease in cats. Their Siamese and Abyssinian heritage may also predispose them to renal or liver amyloidosis and early periodontal disease. The Egyptian mouse coat is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath is rarely necessary. The Ossicat's short, smooth coat is simple to groom with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hairs. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails weekly. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep an Egyptian Mao and an Asa cat as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Mouse and Oshi cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such an unusual cat without paying for it. The active and playful Mao is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He's smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but loves school-age children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares him, certainly not dogs, and he will happily make friends with them if they don't give him any trouble. He is a skilled hunter, however, and pet birds or other small animals are probably not safe in his presence. The gentle and playful Ossicat is well suited to life with families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He can learn tricks, enjoys interactive toys, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. Supervise young children and show them how to pet the cat nicely. Instead of holding or carrying the cat, have them sit on the floor and pet him. It's likely that the Aussie cat will dominate other cats in the household and may even rule the dogs. Always introduce any pets, even other cats slowly and in a controlled setting. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.